Welcome to the Interstellar Stories channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into a topic. A person who flees to a foreign country or power to escape danger or persecution is the definition of a refugee according to Merriam-Webster. Most of the time, refugees are compelled to flee their nation due to imminent violence against them. It would appear that Jesus and his parents would have been eligible for refugee status for a while under that expansive definition. But the dictionary definition of a refugee and the phrase used in politics today are not the same thing. According to Matthew in the New Testament, Joseph had a dream in which an angel of the Lord appeared to him. He said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt. Remain there until I tell you to go, since Herod will go in search of the infant in order to murder him. Thus he rose, grabbed the infant and his mother in the middle of the night, and traveled to Egypt, where he remained until Herod's demise. Thus the prophecy of the Lord, Out of Egypt I called my son, came to pass. Jesus was not a refugee in the modern sense of the word. To begin with, the family of Jesus never actually left the Roman Empire. Rather, they only moved from one area of the empire to another. That would be equivalent to someone lawfully relocating inside the United States from one state to another, so evading the first state's governor. Furthermore, Luke makes it very evident that Joseph and Mary made a special effort to observe Roman law by participating in the census. All of their actions were lawful. Jesus and his family moved to Egypt in order to escape King Herod's murderous intentions, but they had a plan, and they had supplies and support. Their trip was entirely self-funded due to the gifts of the Magi, and their sojourn in Egypt was short. The family remained there until the death of Herod, at which time they returned home. Given these details, there's no real parallel to the modern, indigent refugee who asks permission to enter a new country to avoid some calamity. There is some truth to the idea that Jesus was a persecuted and poor man, and so we need to consider how we treat those who are displaced and impoverished. However, in the interest of accuracy, Jesus was not what one would consider a refugee, either then or now.